Yo, what's going on guys? It's uh, Aaron Martin again. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos lately. I just, last week was my birthday and I turned 21. So I'm pretty sure y'all can imagine what happened. Anyways. Don't shit face. That, what he said. So we're gonna go over the Air Force real program real quick because I wanna sh I wanna get a video off for you guys so you guys can actually see um, all the different programs that we got. Chef and we're making a video. Ah! Anyway, so I'll show you. I'll tell you. I'll talk to you guys all about the different ropes, and I'll actually teach you how to put one on because no one told us, and we looked like fucking idiots the first time. Yeah, you could be me. I just put a button on it. <laughs> Don't be this fucking moron. Wow, fuck you too. <laughs> It. So this is actually how you wear it. See, I put a safety pin on it right here. Okay, your guy just turned into solid snake. <laughs> um, you put a safety pin on it, and this right here is the front of the rope. I actually, you probably can't see. Hold on, I'll put it in the light. All right. Yeah, right here. This top part, you can see the difference. This is the top of the rope. This is the front. This is the part you want showing out toward people this end on the back it doesn't really matter but it looks so much better and then you have the ceremonial rope which we don't really wear a lot but it isn't a war on accommodation so you have to wear it when you're told to so please don't be a shit bag and not buy one it looks like this it looks really nice with the service dress because this isn't an award this is an award one second i'll get the light on real quick so you guys can see it better okay we go back over here there we go it looks a lot better. Um, this is a little shifted. Love my surface coat. Anyways, this is how it works. This, there, you guys will not believe how many safety pins there are in this goddamn thing. No, that's your surface coat. Oh, you have your surface coat. Never mind. I'm up to the current events. You are way far behind. But this is actually how you wear it. If you put, if you go inside here, you can see if you maybe yeah. There's like four to five different fucking um, ropes in, or safety pins in here. What's up? What's the command for purging a computer again? Going to hell. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, uh, you've got three major safety pins. One right up here. One located here. Yep. Can actually We're see one underneath tight end. on the other back end, yeah. And you got one right over here. Yep. And then you got one holding at the top. You can actually see it right here. Yep. And then this, these two. Go on the outside. Yeah, Most, they do not, you don't you don't do this. You don't do that. Yeah, some people wear it like that. That's, and that's stupid. You don't do not. that. You would think you do, but you don't. Yep. And then you have your metal ceremonial, which just sits there. Yep. And that's basically that. So that's how you actually put them on. It's a little difficult. If you're having trouble, just ask someone. Usually, an, an, an experienced rope, they can usually help you. We're like the long, one of the longest standing ropes on our base. So. <laughs> so there are what four rope pro five rope programs. Well, the, yes, there are. But there's just one not on our base. That's yep. the problem. So there's five rope programs. The white ropes, which are usually chapel. That's what he is. Yep. I'm sure you've seen him before in older videos, like way older videos. Oh yeah, you've seen my white rope. Mm -hmm. And I wore it wrong then, because I was an idiot. All right, we've learned. All right, the next program after that is your airman leaders. Airman leaders is divided up into three different colors. Green, yellow, and red. Wow. With green being the lowest and red being the highest. Your next program is your black rope programs. This douche. Yep. Your next program is one of the newest ones. It's actually a teal program, and that's for the sexual prevention assault. Uh, sexual prevention assault. Sexual ass assault response. Yeah. Um, something. We'll find out. I'm sorry. The sexual prevention assault um, uh, response something. Sark. S A R C. Actually, I have a card from my wallet somewhere. You're gonna add the fuck out of this one. <laughs> We're gonna have to. <laughs> And there's also one more, and they, they do not have it on this base, so I actually went and did research before I started this video to make sure I'm misinforming you guys. The drum and bugle rope. It's a big oh, yeah. thing at Lackland. Oh, and yeah. at Keesler and Shepard, I think, too. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea what color that is. It is a blue or a black rope with a white outline. That's actually not bad. It's really cool looking. Yeah. Except you're band nerds. And that's saying a lot. No, that's pretty cool. Like, you guys should perform instruments, you do ceremonies and stuff like that. It's really cool. Then you have your other ropes inside the actual military itself. Uh, I know Ooh. the army runs around with a uh, yellow rope. I do not know what that is, but... A yellow rope. I have no idea what the yellow rope is, but they have a yellow ceremonial rope. Really? Oh, that is, uh... Ah, oh, crap, yeah. 
I didn't know what their academy and what key uh, well, key west they were. And you know, if it's not green, green is infantry, I think, right? Yeah, green I know they have a couple of other ones. There's a couple of other ropes for actually going operational. The only one I really know of um, and know detail is the silver rope, and that's the United States Honor Guard. So if you can get one of those, kudos to you. I actually want to get that one. Day. I really do too. And so those are the programs themselves. There are various ways to getting into it. Each base is slightly different on how you get it. Um, for this base, the white rope programs, you have to volunteer for 12 hours a week. Um, well, 12 hours to just get it and then four hours a week. And then you have to complete several other program um, interviews and various things like that. And most of them are like that. Black rope is probably the hardest to get. Um, so how to get your black rope is you got you to perform open ranks. You gotta do our march card. You have to do guide on. You have to go to a full. I have to be in full service dress in front of the MTLs and actually uh, do, uh, go talk to them and see if you think you're fit for it. You have to do. I'm a volunteer service hours. You have to. Do, you have to recite the black rope creed. We actually do have one, believe it or not. And there's one more thing: guide on, open ranks, march card. What am I forgetting? Oh yeah, program. IDD, Intensive Disciplinary Drill. So the only, the, with that uh, current one is that you have to do it against seven or eight other people and most of those are actual black ropes themselves. So. That's how it should be anyways. Yep, so that's the black rope program in a nutshell. The, the LRMM Leader program, you start out as a green and it takes about three to four months to get a, a red rope and you work very closely with your MTLs. You will basically have to, separate, you'll have to go in front of a board, you have to pass a test. It's crazy how much crap they have to do. And the thing that sucks about it is that Usually, well, they, that's how it is here. Other bases might be a little bit less because you're not maybe not there as long. We're here forever, but at other places, it's probably not as much. Mm -hmm. But so usually, you have all these different things to go through, and then you have to usually pick between two people because they're like much like a, a pyramid scheme. A lot of green ropes, some yellow ropes, only usually two red ropes. I don't think you have the definition of what a pyramid scheme. You start from the bottom. I, I know a pyramid structure, but not yes. a pyramid scheme. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean, though. Yes, <laughs> they don't. Either way, so um, that's what I meant. Pyramid. The white rope program is divided up into two sections. We have the crossroads, which is a basically it's a home away from home. It's where we go out to chill out, video games. They have a kitchen, various other things. This is basically a place to relax. Uh, and there's hardly any sergeants there. You just, it's, it really is. Just... They try to not let sergeants in. Like if you're usually basically an E5 or above, they kind of just kick you out. Yep. And then there's their chapel program, which is you work closely with the chaplains themselves. And chapel pretty, guides yeah, mostly, and on most bases, that's usually what it is. Yeah, it's, it's, chapel uh, guides. it's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Yep, and then you have the sark for, the sark ropes or tail ropes. Now, usually, they're for more than just sexual assault and all that stuff. Usually, they're for also like you got some problems back at home, you don't want to go talk to your sergeant because let's face it, that's weird. Or go talk to a chaplain, you can talk to them because they're the same rank as you. They're a student just like you and they can relate to you on a bit more of a level than a sergeant or uh, an officer can. Yeah, they're for day-to-day -day issues, stuff, um, you know, your classes are getting me down or, you know, my finances are not the same way. Um, just just in a lower end, like, you have your chaplains up here, you have your white ropes, and then the sergeant right below that in terms of high go about abilities. It. And then there's their core uh, features actually for sexual prevention and assault. So if you feel like you've been harassed or sexually abused in any way, shape, or form, that's what this program is specifically designed against. And they have one in every wing of every single dorm on the, on this current base. And I'm pretty sure any base that has them with it, they're everywhere. And this is not just an Air Force thing. This is Army, Marines. Um, in fact, our head white rope um, for one of our divisions is a Marine. And so we were, uh, the Air Force will respond to a Marine in command. And it goes through every single branch. Now, usually, the, for people who don't know, and I'm not going to say the, the event that sparked it because I'm not going to discredit the Air Force like that, but a couple of years ago, there was a problem at a certain place where all of a sudden the Air Force was all about, and the military in general was all about just stopping sexual assault because it was getting really, really bad. Oh, yeah. To the point where people were just, like, it was also a direct, direct link to the suicide problem we were having. Yep. So, the military doesn't play with this stuff anymore. If yep. you are even suspected of it you will get fucked up because you don't we, we do not tolerate that at all anymore oh, yeah it gets uh it gets pretty nasty pretty fast but that those are the programs themselves and since you're in tech school at this current point you you can't really fluff up your resume does that make sense so a, a, a rope program helps you accelerate your career in a lot of sense so i would always recommend going for at least a rope program Certain ones are valued more than others. I think the Airman Leader is the highest one, so if you get a red rope, it's the highest in, uh, highest in terms of value. Then it's the black program, and then it's white, and then it's green. Yep, and just like, like I'm probably going to get the commander spot for black ropes and everything like that, and then you, of course you have your red ropes, yellow and green. 
And usually, from what I found out, they don't really care how long you were roped. They just care like what position you held and what you really did. Yeah. This is like the best way to stand out amongst your peers, mostly. And so you could be that guy who wakes up every day, goes to class, and goes home, or it could be a rope and volunteer your time. It just sets you apart from everybody else, basically. Yep. But once again, this is all for tech school and tech school only. Once when you go operational, it gets not a thing. Anything. It's not a thing anymore after tech um, school. But certain tech schools run long enough that you'll actually be able to apply for BTZ, which is below the zone, which allows you to promote six months faster to an E4 from an E3. And the only way they choose this is based off of what you've done. But since in tech school, you're not allowed to do a lot of stuff and there's not a lot you can do to set yourself apart. The world program is what caveats off to that. You can be multiple programs. Um, the only I, ones you can't be, you cannot be an airman leader and a tour at the same time. They will not let you do that. Not Conflict of interest. You used to be able to. You used to be able to, but not anymore because, think of it this way, the tour is all about confidentiality. So if, if something happens as an airman leader, you have to report it. But as, then again, as a tour, it's supposed to be confidential. See what I'm saying? You can't do two at the same time. So you have to pick one or the other. It is a conflict of interest. But that means if you're really, really all for it, you could be a white rope, you could be a black rope, and a red rope. If you get all three of those, you pretty much, and you actually hold on to them. And there are caveats. You can lose your uh, rope for being stupid, and you can. Failing room inspections, um, letting your grades slip, you will lose. They can, like, first they'll take your rope for a week, then you'll just you'll get kicked out of the program and not allowed back into it. Yep. Um, remember, this is you are here for tech school first. The ropes are a voluntary type thing, and they're for your helping your career. They will yank that thing away from you if they feel for even one second that your career is in jeopardy. Um, so but to you, punish you, it's to help you, really. So the biggest thing you will learn once when you get to tech school is that your MTLs, your sergeants, yeah, up to this point your, in your entire career, your sergeants, for all intents and purposes, have felt like your, how should I put this together differently? Direct links to hell? Yeah. That, that seems about right. Well, they just got out of basic training. Yeah, you just so, got out of basic training. So yeah. in basic, your sergeants are there to straighten you right in the line as fast as humanly possible. They don't take crap, they don't dish, they dish it out all the time just to snap you back to what you need. Here, they behave like a normal human being. If there's an issue, they work with you. And that's where a lot of people don't understand about, especially about our sergeants, is that they really do care whether you succeed or not. They can't make it to this position if they don't care. Um, so you have to volunteer for it and everything like that. And it's a good boost for their career eventually down the road when they uh, uh, apply for master sergeant or higher. So th that's why it's volunteer for them, and your entire duty will actually shift. So they're, the, our master sergeants, it's not their career field to be our babysitters for all intents and purposes. It's DSD. That, but it is. Um, it's DSD. Yep. Doesn't need any special duty. You are basically volunteer like, hey, guess what? We're going to be an MTL. You either do that, or you got seven days to get out of the Air Force. Pick one. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it, it can be like that, but some people actually volunteer for the site. Oh, they do. Oh, oh, yeah. A lot of people yeah. do. For a good EPR, that's what it's actually called. Um, and that's a good bulletin point on your promotion. So each time you promote from E4 higher, you have to have certain points on it. And you have to you test know. as well. Yeah, you have to take a test. So I'm like, but it, basically think of it like, yeah, we can do a whole video on that later. Actually. This is just about the rope program right now. Yeah. So we'll stop about this, but that's all the ropes in general. You got two of them standing right here, two senior ropes within this within our squadron because we've been here a while. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, so when I go operational, I'm I'll be sure to make a different video, probably mostly explain the difference between going operational tech school, the differences. But hope you guys enjoy this video a lot. If you have any questions about the ropes themselves, leave them in the comments. I know a teal rope, I know. All airman leader ropes, I know everybody. I could get an answer for you, I promise. Just know that every single base functions differently. You ever seen an internet meme? I don't care how your last squadron did it. I don't care how your last squadron did it. Like the same thing, I don't care how your base did it. Everything's gonna function differently. Everything might not be exactly the same, but expect similarities. That's all I'm saying. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next week.